The sun is out and uh, the animals are grazing. It's overcast, but I keep getting little peaks of sun, uh, which is great. At least it's not raining, so trying to get some things done today. What I've got going on today is uh, putting some shelving in the greenhouse. We picked up a shelving rack, metal shelving rack thing in the back of a big box store on the weekend. It was in a scrap pile. We usually drive to the back of the store to see if there's any good pallets or anything to grab. So we grabbed that, I cut it up, and now I'm gonna put those shelves in in the greenhouse. So what I'm doing is looking for some scrap two by fours. And I have this right here. So I'm gonna take this and I'll rip that apart and use that for supports. This is the other holes housing I built. This one I kind of did a beehive style. I put these little cedar horns all around it. And I call this the bison. This is my my salute to the mighty bison. <laughs> you can find a link to my first holes housing build right up here. And check that video out and shows how I built the holes housing and uh, I just applied the same principles to this thing except I made the beehive roof instead of a shingled siding type of roof. Even the cat enjoys the river view. Okay back to work. I cut the uh, two by fours to the length I need to put the shelves up. So now I've loaded up my wheelbarrow with uh, stuff I need to take up there. So I am just doing something real basic and simple here with the bracing. Just gonna have it screwed into that four by four down there and then just sit in there and that notch doesn't come above the uh, flat surface. So it'll just ride on that. If I need to, I'll put a post in there, kind of like this one I have right now, using to brace it up. After I installed the first rack, I noticed that the other two stuck out about a whole section past the other one. So I came back down to the cabin. I'm gonna cut this off and then it'll line up with the other one. It was just easier than taking it all apart. Okay, back to the greenhouse. It's times like this that I envy people with a flat property. Back to work. So I have these little U-nails. I'm gonna finish off the racks here with the nails, just kinda secure these down like that so they don't move around.
Well, there you have it. Greenhouse uh, shelving or rack for no cost except the cost of the screws and the little U-nails I used. So this thing should be really nice. It's really sturdy. I think Jen's gonna like it. That ought to do it for this video. Um, coming soon, chicken coop and chicken run right in here. I got all this uh, smoothed out, raked out and left one pile over there. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, our channel and checking out this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you prefer. This is Jay at Almost Homestead. Thanks for watching. Thank you.